Hello YouTube, it's Melissa and I'm going to start by sharing a layout that I made for my vacation spring break. Um, I incorporated it in a project lifestyle with the pocket pages. I used Becky Higgins um, H style and G. So I'm going to get started. I always um, do this type of scrapbooking for vacations and things because um, I don't know, just doing layouts and stuff like that. Sometimes I do a layout, but not very often. So I just incorporated my family album and yeah. So we are gone for 12 days and so this is the style H. It slips right into my album. There's the front and there's the back. And so I made this. This is just a Polaroid I cut from die cuts. This is a stamp I got from Hobby Lobby. That's a stamp um, on some cardstock. This is some old matte paper. And I just stitched with some embroidery floss, a little wonky stitch line. This is a car paper clip from Studio Calico. And this is my Lawn Fawn Coles ABCs. So, and then I just incorporated little bits. Um, I try to always, the one thing that I will note is that I always use the same background paper to back everything up on. This happens to be Sahara, no, Soft Suede maybe? I can't remember. I think it's Soft Suede from Stampin' Up. So I'll use that throughout on both on each pocket, but the rest is just a mix match of whatever I want. I don't stay with one collection. I pull all of my stuff out, all my travel stuff, and just go to town. So um, these are some chic tags, little, I don't know, cards that I bought, some stickers, <laughs> some jelly bean soup, soup labels, a sticker. You can see, I'm not going to go through it all. You can just get a look. I use more chic tags, some stickers. This is from Simon Says Stamp. Uh, these are some yellow, little yellow bicycle stickers. This is a Stampin' Up! punch. And then I used a flip. So, and then there's some pool pictures. Uh, more just using stickers. Using little labels from chic tags. So that, um, you know, goes right in chronologically in my album. And then here's the other half. I happen to do, like I said, the H, and then this is the G. So I did use my fuse tool. I added some shells here, which I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. So I added some shells to the pocket, uh, and I separated the pocket with a photo here, and then sealed it. Um, these are just, like I said, mix match of all kinds of stuff out of my stash, all kinds of different stickers. The only thing that each of these has in common is the background paper. So, just giving you a look into our vacation and, you know, some of the fun we had. It's not every picture. I can't do every picture that stands true with even my monthly project life. But it's a very good glimpse into, um, you know, how our time together. So, one of the things I will note, this was my third attempt at this pocket. So one of the things I will say, if you're using the fuel tool or thinking, fuse tool, sorry, or thinking about buying it, um, it's going to be great. I can see all kinds of possibilities. I even saw, here it is, Jennifer McGuire post a shaker card using it. So, um, but I did go through three of these page protectors. I kept the scraps that I could keep um, before throwing the other parts out because I, like I said, saw that Jennifer McGuire made a shaker card and I don't know. So, anyway, so one of the things I will say is you need a glass mat for sure because this will melt. I mean, unless you don't care, if but it will melt through your plastic mat. Um, it comes with this guide. I noticed as I was using it that the guide has to be completely, like, flat against whatever you're getting ready to fuse because, I don't know, I felt like if it wasn't, either it wasn't fusing properly or definitely practice on a scrap piece of page protector first. Because I felt like my wheel wasn't turning like it should be. I don't know. That's hard to, hard to explain. But it just wasn't. So anyway, um, it's gonna, I'm, st I'm still going to need some practice. And with these shells, originally I had bought some sand at Hobby Lobby. And actually, the sand ended up leaking through my little separators. And I, you know, you might notice that it's just, it was just too fine. So I switched it up to shells and sequins. Um, I don't like a ton of dimension. Something you also want to keep in mind, depending on what you're adding to your pockets, you know, you want this to be able to close and it's got to lay flat. And 
I didn't try it without this guide tool, but, um, sorry for the noise, but this guide tool has to be flat. So if you're putting a bunch of bulk in here, you know, unless you're going to run along this edge, you know, I kept it through here, but you don't want too much in there. So, yeah, that's just what I found out. Maybe my, that will change as I go, but. Um, so, and then also, if you're going to put something, divide it, um, you're going to need to make sure you have the front and the back. So, so yeah, but otherwise, um, I can see, you know, the possibilities are endless, and I see myself using it a lot in the future just for, you know, altering um, pockets. So, it's going to be very fun. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to using this more. I know... Um, like I said, the one thing I will say is to make sure that you have a, a piece to practice on. You want to make sure this is nice and hot, so let it set for like 10 minutes warming up. And then before you bring it to your project, test it on your scrap piece of page protector to make sure you're, you know, it's hot enough. And um, yeah, so. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding uh, my vacation layout, let me know. I love incorporating this kind of style for trips and even long weekends I will sometimes maybe do one layout and then you know back to old school where these were originally you know when they started becoming popular people were just using these for extra photos so I'm just keeping it real and using it um, to document my whole vacation so in with my other layouts in my book so all right give me a thumbs up if you like this video and like I said if you have any questions you can just feel free to ask and thanks for watching guys bye